Hi everybody. I couldn't vlog the past few days because I've been sick and I'm just now getting my voice back. Um, currently it's like 5 something in the evening right now and Sean is out hunting at Grandpa's land and I am fixing dinner. We're having pizza tonight. So um, there's the pizza dough that I'm waiting for it to rise. And then I'm going to flatten it out and put it in the oven. Um, I told you I've been canning a lot this past summer. This is the pasta sauce that canned from the tomatoes this year. So that's going to go on the pizza. Um, yesterday something really funny happened. Um, Logan is screaming at me right now in his bedroom. He's supposed to be taking a his afternoon nap, but he's not. He's just in his crib screaming and talking, calling mama. But anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, um, see, the day before yesterday, um, we were having Chinese food because my mom had sent us home with a lot of Chinese food. So I had to cook some rice because we ran out of rice to go along with the food. So we had all this leftover white rice yesterday. So I had to make, oh, I decided I'm going to make some fried rice for lunch yesterday. So I cut up the meat and, you know, mixed the rice with soy sauce and everything. And I was just going to fry it up. And normally when I fry rice, I normally would scramble the eggs first. And when, when I do fried rice like that, I just use the, um, like, egg beater's eggs, the ones that come in a carton, you know? Well, um, I grabbed a carton, and I was pouring it into, I mean, I sprayed Pam all over the skillet. And I was pouring it into the skillet, and it was really white. And I'm like, oh, God, did our egg beaters go bad or something? I thought it, it was until the expiration date said December 5th, which is Sean's birthday. But, you know, it looks so weird. I'm like, what's going on here? I looked at the box, and I wasn't pouring egg beaters into the skillet. I was pouring Sean's eggnog into the skillet, so I had to wash the whole skillet out and do it all over again. But we ended up with a really, really good lunch yesterday, so um, <laughs> that turned out really good. And Sean called me a goober when I did that, because I have these little, little beaky moments that he calls his goober, uh, my goober moments. Because I, you know, English being my second language, I can't remember certain things, like, um, what are those things called? Those little, um, vulture-looking things. Um, if you live in the country, you would know it's, um, these big black birds that, um, they're scavengers, and, um, I think they're called guzzards, but they could be called buzzards. I know one of them is right, and Sean always tells me that I said the wrong one. So I'm guessing they're guzzards or buzzards. Just they're they're one of those one of those buzzard things. But um, the other thing I've been doing is um, I've been um, trying to make crafts for uh, Christmas and stuff, and I'm not quite done with this yet. But look at this. Isn't this nifty? I think it's so pretty. It's going to be a rug, and I love the color of it. So it's not quite done yet. I've got to go a few more times around, and I think it would be really pretty um, in the bathroom. So it's made from old t-shirts, and I really like it. I mean, my nanny had made a rug like this a long time ago when I was when I was a kid in Malaysia, and that looked really neat, and you know. YouTube is a wonderful place because you can learn to make all kinds of stuff all over there. So, but I think that's about it because I think my dough is pretty much done resting. It's only supposed to rest for like 20 minutes. So, I'm going to go flatten it out and, you know, put um, put it away. I mean, put it in the oven and bake it before I... We have to pre-bake the, the dough before we put the stuff all over. But um, this morning, I made this awesome breakfast. And I wish I had, you know, at least videotaped it or something, you know, to or take pictures or something. Because it turned out really good. 
I make pancakes from scratch also, and this morning I decided to make what I call the Chunky Monkey Pancakes because, you know, it just looks so good. Um, I made pancakes with peanut butter mixed in with in, in the batter, and after I cooked it, after I, you know, fried it up, um, I chopped up some bananas all over it, sliced bananas all over it, and sprinkled it with Nesquik um, chocolate powder, and then um, drizzled um, maple syrup all over it. And it was really, really yummy. So, and I think next time I'm gonna try using the chunky peanut butter in the batter because I think that'll be really, really even better, like tasting better. So anyway, I'll talk to you later. And I know. I say a lot of um and yeah and you know in this vlog I don't care because I've got a whole bunch of Dayquil and Nyquil in me right now so and I can't smell so hopefully the piece is good tonight and I don't burn anything down talk to you later bye